in this problem we have a spaceship which is moving with a constant velocity v0 and to change the direction of its motion a gas is ejected with velocity u relative to the spaceship and is directed at right angles to the spaceship motion so the u is ejected at right angle to the direction of motion the engine is shut down when the mass of the spaceship is reduced to m we need to find how much angle it has turned by that time so first things first the force on the rocket is perpendicular to the direction of motion which means its velocity will not change at all whenever forces are perpendicular to the direction of motion the velocity does not change so the rest of the mass the mass is changing of the rocket because some mass is getting out but the velocity of the rocket will not change so initially if the rocket was going in this direction so of course if we eject some mass towards right the rocket will have now has some velocity towards left but its velocity in the direction of rocket itself that will still be the v not so this is the initial velocity and this is the final velocity so now you can see that final velocity minus initial velocity will be towards left and let's call it dv and also because of this ejected mass which is ejected for small time dt the angle it has turned let's call it d theta so we need to find how much the relation between theta and the mass of the rocket so let's get to our original equation which we have seen in previous few problems that is m dv by dt is equal to u dm by dt so what we have seen before actually the equation was m dv by dt is equal to minus mu du sorry minus mu into u vector and minus mu we can write as dm by dt so anyway this is our equation which we have proved proven in last few problems in particular problem number 178 so you can refer that if you have doubt on how we got this equation now we need the relation between the mass and theta but we don't see any theta term here so how do we introduce theta so you can see here that this angle is theta and this angle is also theta and by geometry this if this is theta that means dv is v not d theta so now we can introduce theta so we'll just write that m into v not d theta is equal to u into minus dm so why this minus sign because now we are talking about magnitudes so this is in vector form but here we are writing magnitudes so to make the both sides positive we will just add a minus sign here see left side mass is positive and the dv is also positive in this direction right on the right side u is positive but dm is negative because the mass of the rocket m is reducing so if we add just a minus sign here now these both the terms are positive and we, we the v we write as v not d theta so now we have a relation between theta and mass and that's what we wanted so we'll integrate the theta ranges from 0 to alpha and mass it goes from m not to m which gives the angle alpha the total deviation of the rocket is this much our answer all right 